Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of my face on your screen. And you may notice that things look decidedly different. There is also a goat behind me. His name is Jeremy. Do not mind him. He's amazing. If you want to know exactly what's going on, why things have changed, and why I've been away for a while, skip to the end of the video, or just hang around to the end of the video. Don't skip this video. You're here because of this video. So this summer, I was on tour in Europe with a brand new album. It's called Amber, and you guys can find it on Spotify and iTunes and Amazon and all the places. And I had the honor of playing for my old high school, and I had an amazing time there. I met some really cool people. And one of the most popular songs was a song called Nowhere Fast, which if you want to hear it when it first came into existence, this is it right here. And I had a lot of people asking me, how do you play this song? And I promised I was going to make a video tutorial. Well, here it is. It's an incredibly simple song to play. It just has some twists on some chords that you guys probably already know. This song on the album is played with a capo on the first fret. But to make sure that this is as accessible as possible to anyone on the skill spectrum, I'm just going to play it as if it's in the key of G. So the verse of this song follows a really simple pattern. It's simply played over the chords G, E minor, C, and D, which basically sounds like this. You've been dancing around the corners of my mind. And I'm certain you've been circling my heart tonight Are we both searching for the perfect words to say? But when perfect comes, it's perfectly too late Now naming the chords is pretty simple, but I tend to play slightly different chords than just like your regular chord shapes. So I'm going to talk you guys through those real quick. So most of the time I don't play a regular G chord. It's one of my favorite sounds. It's very open and it's pretty simple. So all you do is you fret down here on the G on the, uh, the third fret on the E string. Then I kind of block the A string with the back of this finger so it doesn't sound. And then I have my, my ring finger on the third fret of the B string and I don't play the E string on top. So it's just two fingers involved and it sounds like this. And then the E minor chord, this is your regular one. The thing about me is I keep my ring finger in the same place as it was on the G chord. And I simply move my index finger, my middle finger. So you get this really nice um, E minor seven chord. So that's it, so you got your G. And then your E minor seven chord. And then, you guessed it, the C chord, I do the same thing. I simply keep my ring finger exactly where it is, and then I move my middle finger up to the third fret on the A string, and get this sound. So instead of a, like a C chord like this, it has a bit more of a sort of ambiguous sound. So you got your G. E minor 7, your C, and then for the D chord, it's really, really simple. It's one of my favorite D chords. It's called a D add 9 add 4. Forget that because it's a crazy name to remember. All you got to think of is if you know how to play a C chord, just shift it up two frets. So you get this really nice open D chord. So it goes from the C. Those are the chords for the verse. And then two of those are used in the bridge as well. So we're basically halfway there. Then for the chorus, it gets a little more complicated. If you're brand new to guitar, these are some really cool shapes you're gonna learn that, you know, learning your regular campfire chords, these will make a really great addition to your vocabulary. So the chorus sounds like this. If we keep waiting for each other, we'll end up going nowhere fast. Waiting for each other, we'll end up going nowhere fast. So the first chord in that is an A minor seven with an eleven on it. Again, don't don't worry about that. Simply take your middle finger and put it on the fifth fret on the E string. Don't worry about the A string. We're just blocking that off. And then fifth fret on the D string with your ring finger. Then fifth fret on the G string with your little finger. So you get this sound. And then your index finger, third fret on the B string. So you get this sound. 
then your next chord is a C. Again, I have to do something weird with it. It's almost like a C bar chord, except I'm just picked out the first, third, and fifth note from it. So it sounds like this. And then shifts right up to the next chord by two frets. And I'll teach you how to play that. So take your index finger, put that on the third fret on the A string, and then take your ring finger and put that on the fifth fret on the D string, and then your little finger and put that on the fifth fret on the B string. There it is. And make sure you're blocking off the other strings so you don't get some rogue notes in there. And you can just use the backs of your fingers for that, just like the, the pads right here. And you get this sound. So from the first chord, if we keep waiting for each other, we'll end up going. And then shift that shape we just went through, two frets up. Nowhere. And remember the G chord from the, from the verse? Fast. There it is. So your chorus should sound like this. And then finally, you've got the bridge, which is super simple in every way, shape, and form. And it takes two chords that you already learned from the verse, uh, the G and the C. And it goes like this. And there's that D add nine add four. We'll just call it the cool D. <laughs> so you just tag that on at the end of the bridge. Um, so as a quick recap, the verse is simply G, E minor seven, C, and then the cool D. And then the chorus is the A minor seven with an 11 on it. Just forget that and call it an A minor. And then you've got the C, and then the D, to the G and then we have the bridge which simply goes from the C to the G and then and then ends on that cool D again so those are the absolute basics of the song if you guys figure it out from this and then want to post your own cover please do and hit me up on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, anything. Just let me know you've done it because I want to see it. Now, I promised that I was going to tell you why on earth things have changed and why I've been away for a while. So first of all, I was on tour in Europe. I got to see my family in Scotland who I haven't seen for a couple of years. And then we went to Denver to go and hang out with Razzle's family. And then we moved to LA. So I'm currently in LA and this is my studio slash office which I've never had before. I've basically invested in making everything I do on YouTube that bit better. Also, there's, there's Jeremy over there. Jeremy's awesome. Razzle and I are out shopping to like fill the studio out a bit. And we both saw him there in the clearance area and thought we kind of have to have Jeremy. So thank you guys so much for checking this out. And I cannot wait to be back here with brand new songs, videos, guitar tutorials, the whole shebang. So have an awesome day and I'll see you guys later.